Hello. Daily quest. Hello, Soren. Uh, Rezzy, thank you so much for the nine months. John Tech, thank you so much for the two months. Uh, Scythe, thank you so much for the two months. It feels so long since I've streamed. Has anyone gotten enough 200,000 points to feed kitties? No one has gotten it yet. No one. Maz wasting that too. You know what time it is. <laughs> we are now sponsored. All right. Well, it's not a sponsorship, I think. It's just a uh, one-time ad. Maybe it turns into a recurring thing. Yo, Chris. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, today's stream. I guess it's sponsored by NordVPN. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Mackam, thank you so much for the three months. Master99x, thank you so much for the five months. Melda, thank you so much for the tier two for one year. Thank you so much, Melda. Scissor, thank you so much for the six months. Have fun streaming. All right, sir. Have fun. Are you sleeping? It is, it's late for you, right? Kittens are going to starve. None of the viewers can afford to feed them. Yeah, it feels bad. They're just gonna die. Chortle, hello. Padawick, hello. Yo, Karu. <laughs> wow, it's already been two months. Liquid Sky Design, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. XD Miraculon, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Izzy Kaney, thank you so much for the five months. Ooh, another hype train. Should I wake up the cats for the hype train? Leave him? Oh, if you guys noticed, I got a new bed. Yeah, I felt like the old one. So Luffy's sleeping on the old bed. It's getting kind of small for the both of them. So I got a giant... It's pretty big though, the new one. <laughs> Hopefully it's future-proof. And I won't need to buy a new bed for a while. <laughs> That's a dog bed? I don't know, the listing said it was cat and dog. Maybe I just got schemazed. Yeah. Do you find it comfy when you sleep? <laughs> I don't sleep on it, I just got this today. Asian Fork, thank you so much for the eight months. Shade TV, thank you so much for the four bits. Schmaxi, thank you so much for the four months. Hello, hello. What layout is HPCP? It's a compact 1800 layout, Mr. Bontakun. Yeah. What is the difference between a cat and dog bed though? I'm not sure. Never owned a dog. Hi. Just can't see. All beds I've bought are being used by both cat and dog, they don't care. Nice. Oh, we got level two. Nice. Mr. Rojan, thank you so much for the three months. Why do you use so many desk pads at once? A uh, couple reasons. How many am I at right now? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm at five. Uh, I use multiple desk mats. One, I'm too lazy to roll them up <laughs> and store them. I'd rather just have them laying on my desk instead of putting it away. That's reason number one. Reason number two, uh, it's easy to switch out between extra... I switch out desk mats like every week or every two weeks. So makes it just makes it easier to uh, switch out to a different desk mat without having to go to my stash and pick one out. Um, and the third reason is for acoustics. I, I, I personally don't think one desk mat is enough to separate that the keyboard away from the desk um, because many factors affect the variability of sound when it comes to keyboards. Um, I use multiple desk mats so that it isolates the sound of the board as much as possible. Uh, Shirt, thank you so much for the Switch Prime sub. Tyson, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Dio, thank you so much for the tier one sub. <laughs> Can I sponsor you to just put a picture of Kelly in the corner of your stream the whole time? Yeah, sure. $10,000 and our Bigfoot. <laughs> Where did you get those mats? This is from Novel Keys. 
Oh shoot, Novel Keys is here. Oh nice, we are actually, we are, are actually restocking Metropolis desk pads this week. There you go. This is, this was sold out for a bit, but it's going to be restocked on NovelKeys.xyz pretty soon. You can use discount code TEHAKEYS to get 5% off whenever it restocks. Just got my first GMK set ever in the mail today, Oblivion. Man, these keycaps are so dope. Nice. What's your favorite mouse? MX Master 3. I want the Metropolis desk pad and the keycap set. Oh, I don't have the keycap set, but I did have it. Yeah. I'm guessing this has already been asked, but won't be a good switch for a first time rebuilding customs. Uh, go with whatever switch you want. I would say try out maybe maybe some switches from zopc.net slash types or primekb.com. Alpacas are pretty nice. Or try out some Gateron inks from novelkeys.xyz, novelkeycreams.xyz. Lots of options. Um, Bontakun, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Momo the Shredder, thank you so much for the Switch Prime sub. Uh, we too high, thank you so we too high thank you so much for the two months thanks for introducing me to money pit hobby nice makia tori thank you so much for the twitch prime sub big boss gang tv thank you so much for the three months have you tried the alpacas i have i like it shirt thank you so much for the twitch prime sub uh fabry rock thank you so much for the 10 months what if i want nolives oh christopher well do you want nolives specifically for the color nolives are the same as cream switches it's just a different spring. Yeah. So Nolives have a lighter spring than creams, but other than that, they're the same switch, just different colors, if that makes sense. Literally created a Twitch account just to support you. Thank you so much. <gasps> Mommy's waking up. Oh, that lie. She went back to sleep. Also, <laughs> you guys should check out Christopher's stream yesterday. I'm sure you guys all know who Christopher is. He's a big boy on YouTube. He's a big YouTuber. But he built his first ever keyboard yesterday and I helped him out. He made some mistakes, but he didn't fail. He got his first keyboard to work. He can now say he's built a keyboard, a custom keyboard on his own. Go check out his latest VOD. Assuming you can see it. I don't know if it's sub only or not. I think it, you can watch it, yeah. Big boy YouTuber, yeah. Rip, are Keck W's actually banned? Ooh, we unlocked level two hype train. Thank you, chat. I'm not a pleb. <laughs> what is this? Choo choo. Oh, that looks so gross. What the? What do you think of Chemex? I love the Chemex. I use the, I've been using the Chemex for the past two years. Yeah. Icons, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Black and Red Dog Husky, thank you so much for the five months. What, fat cat? They're not that fat. Um, Brewski, thanks so much for the two months. I'm behind seven proxies watching this. Thanks, NordVPN Teha types. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you guys tuning in, today's stream was brought to you by NordVPN. Um, today is their eighth year anniversary. And they are having a 70% off their three-year plan. So go check it out. I have a link, nordvpn.org slash Teha types. 70% off. If you subscribe for their three-year plan, it's like, I think it comes out to like three bucks a month or something. Plus you get an additional month free if you use my link, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. It's not, it's not a, uh, indefinite thing. We're just, uh, it's a one-time thing. Trying it out. Hedge, Hedge you pine. Thank you so much for the Twitch prime sub. All right. Shall we get to the build? Hopefully, you guys had a good weekend. It was President's Day yesterday.
so I think I think some people got the day off. Maybe some people didn't. Ooh. So we we actually built the prototype for the HBCP, which is made by Heine Bush. We built the prototype many months ago, um, before I even moved here. <laughs> And like my old place. So we are now seeing the production run. So let's see what's changed. So this client, oh wow, they got multiple plates. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a Heine half plate. What the, what? Look at these cuts. What the heck? Yeah. We're not using this, we're using the carbon fiber plate. Yeah, I personally, I mean, I work with Heine a lot. I like Heine's products. HBCP was very nice as well. All right. Um, bathing Primeape, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Dog hair, don't care, thank you so much for the two months. Blue, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Zays, thank you so much for the five months. Hello, hello. Do you prefer X rings or stock and lube HHKB experience? Uh, I personally prefer stock and lube at the moment. You have a personal? I did not order a personal, unfortunately. Yeah, Heine ran the group by for this around the time I went full time. And I just couldn't afford to purchase keyboards. <laughs> I haven't purchased keyboards in a long time. Why am I bringing out the scissor? You just bought a flex? Shh. Okay, flex Virgo is, is different because it has a layout that I'm a huge fan of. Give me Virgo, I lost Raffle. Also chat, I purchased my ticket to go to Mechanicon. Not, the, not me, not the, not the ticket to go to Mechanicon. I bought my flight tickets to go to Mechanicon. I am going to Germany in April. Any who any Germans in chat? <laughs> Anyone who is attending who is attending Mechanicon? Oh crap, wrong overlay. Tell me, are you guys going to Mechanicon? See you there, King. Yo, I get to meet Clav, I get to meet Maz, I get to meet Fincy. Now attending. Yeah, so I purchased my flight tickets. I still have to book housing. Uh, is Soran going to be there? I believe Soran said he's going to try to make it out. I don't know. Ooh, this is a heavy boy. Wow, look at this cloth. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, I like this cloth. Hold on.
So yeah, if you guys don't like the silver color, you guys can check out my previous VOD on my YouTube channel. I built up a navy one as well. This is what the side profile looks like. The back. Oh, look at this giant brass weight. Clean. Oh, there's actually no engraving. I thought Heine would have put his logo on here or something. It's actually just a clean brass weight. Nice. This is the front. Engraving on inside. Oh, oh, I see. I see. All right, let's take a wing of this. How much does this weigh unbuilt? This is a nice touch. I love your content, but I hate how I am selling some of my knife collection. Poor Kipuji now. Casper, thank you so much for the eight months. Over the eight plus months, I share a very love hate relationship with you. Uh oh. I love your content, but I hate how I am selling some of my knife collection for keyboards now. Ooh. I mean, Casper, if you've got some nice knives to sell, let me know. I've seen your collection. I don't necessarily have keyboards to sell, but if you need to uh, clear some funds, you know. All right, this weighs five pounds, 14.4 ounces unbuilt. Oh, that's actually lighter than I thought. 2,675 grams, so unbuilt. And that's with the brass plate. By the way, I lost. Gonna be wearing. T gonna be wearing glasses 24/7 starting Thursday. Ooh, Soran, you should get my kind of or the Asian style Harry Potter glasses. They're gonna look very sexy. You're gonna have both all the men and women of your country going after you. Soran's a very good-looking guy. No cap. Prodigy, thank you so much for the tier one sub. The sitter just thank you so much for the eight months. No cap. Um, we don't need this yet. So let me just show it off one more time. This back curve though. Ooh. Ooh. This brass weight, the finish on it looks very nice as well. Actually, let's put the bump ons on. Where are the bump ons? Oh, uh, what? Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Same layout as TXCP. Um, I, I forget if TXCP shares the exact layout. TXCP might be slightly off. Maybe it's the same. Have you ever filmed, switch filmed any switches? Is it normal for the films to stick out ever so slightly on the bot? Yes, that is very normal. Ooh, we've been seeing a lot of bump on cutouts that don't fit the bump on. Look at this. That's a perfect fit right there. That's what I like to see. TXCP doesn't have the big ass block. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. GMK Hander Bite or We Will Riot? We could potentially put Hander Bite on this. Opinion on the Ninja 87. Uh, I don't know anything about Monster Gear. They are a Korean brand. I have not tried out any of their products. Um, yes, people seem very hyped about them, but potentially it has been three days. What are you talking about? You're the reason why I started 
Hating my star keyboard? You're welcome, KG. <laughs> Are you financially doing well? Uh... Uh... I'm not homeless. I've still got... Decent chunk of student loans to pay off. But I, I'm not, I'm not like struggling. I could always use more money. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not struggling. Yeah. I'm not struggling. Um, I, I will say I do have it lucky though. Don't you live with your parents? Yeah, so I'm currently saving a... I'm saving a decent amount because I'm living with my parents currently. Um, I would like to move out ASAP. Not because I don't like my parents, but... Um, I, this room is already getting small for me. And I just... I don't want to take up space in my parents' home. But moving out... Oh, Orange County and LA, it's, become, it's gotten so expensive now. I get... I can't afford. <laughs> Getting a place with Chris? Well, I, I have heard Christopher Yee wants to come to LA. But, it's so expensive. Like, even if I found housemates to pay for a room in LA or Orange County, you're gonna have to pay at least like two grand a month, I think. And like, I need a fairly decently sized room. Yeah, that's expensive. Yeah, there's nothing to do out here in Corona. Literally nothing to do out here, which is why it's cheap. And I'm currently living with my parents, so I'm not paying for all of my meals. I'm paying for my car. I'm paying for my student loans. I pay for my utilities, but yeah, I'm saving a lot on rent currently. Stay with your parents? Yeah, I mean, I probably will. My goal was to move out at the end of this year, but we'll see. Oh, so this comes with a JST connector. It's okay, I can be your new dad. Well, I mean, Chris, if you're, if you ever do look for housing, keep me in your options. No guarantees I'll move out just yet because cheaper rent is nice, but um, if you can find a good enough place, I, I'm definitely open to moving in. Uh, nothing wrong about staying with parents. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong, but just for my parents' sake, I also want to move out. Like, yeah, like, I mean, this is a room they could be using for their, whatever they want, like their hobbies or something. They're like, wasting money for my food sometimes, you know? <sighs> Wait, does this use a daughter board? <sighs> Is the daughter board in here? <laughs> no, there's no daughter board in here, what? Wait, what is this JST connector for? It has a USB cable, what? Oh my gosh, Candy Roo, thank you so much for the raid. What? Narfed, thank you so much for the three months. Heist, thanks so much for the Prime sub. <laughs> TRG, thank you so much for the seven months. Oh, Candy Roo, you're the, you're the Apex person. Apex, right? I think you are the Apex person. Hello, thank you so much for the raid. Apex YouTuber, ah. Yeah, welcome everyone from Candy Roo stream. Uh, we are building one of the best 1800 layout keyboards you can get. This is called the HBCP. So it's made entirely out of aluminum. And then all this yellowish orange stuff. That's all brass you're seeing. So this is the keyboard we're going to build today. Um, we don't see 1800 or bigger form factors like this too often, but this is one of the few that exist. So we're going to build one. Okay. 
so, so ooh. the first thing we have to do is test the PCB. Where's my mouse? What? Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Hope your stream went well. Can do you play Apex on stream too, Candy Roo? I'm guessing that's what you do. Or do you do you live a different life on Twitch versus YouTube? My cat ate it. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go and test the PCB before uh, we do any kind of building. Yeah, dude, we're just doing an Apex stream, same life. Ooh, nice. I still have never played a game of Apex. Oh, I just realized this PCB also supports Alps. Nice. How old are your cats? They are turning four months this week. Yeah. Oh crap, they're turning four months, huh? That means I need to get them their rabies shot. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. Time flies? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it doesn't feel like I've had them for two months. How do your parents feel about your kittens? My dad loves them. My mom hates them. My sisters love them. Yeah, my mom's the only one that hates them. But it's not like because of them specifically. My mom just doesn't like pets in general. What kind of mouse is that? This is the uh, MX Master 3 from Logitech. That's all Korean moms. <laughs> No, I've definitely had Korean mom friends, friends, moms who love pets. I'm going to guess this is a function key. Cane puller turkey boots, stayed puller turkey too. Siro, thank you so much for the nine months. Oh my god, <laughs> quarter jade, hello. <laughs> Oh crap, I didn't know you were stopping by. Did she, did she, oh, she might have seen my going live message, that's why. If you guys are wondering what my going live message was, uh, check my Twitter. There's some funny clips of Quarter Jade. But I finally got to introduce myself to her yesterday. It's nice. You guys, I'm, I'm sure you guys know who Quarter Jade is, right? Yeah, but hello, Quarter Jade. Wait, what is your going live message? Oh, today it was just 10 out of 10 hands. <laughs> yeah. I guess we should show Jade the keyboard too, huh? Also, I had no idea John watched me every day, Jade. I, I knew who John was. Well, I knew both of you guys from Streamer Camp 1, but I had no idea John watched me. That's kind of crazy. I felt very honored when you said that on your stream. But this is the keyboard we are building today. It's called the HBCP. It's all aluminum. And then this here, it's a giant piece of brass. So this keyboard, unbuilt, weighs a little under six pounds. So when we add everything else, it's gonna be pretty heavy. Uh, Ludwig, yo Ludwig, we have Ludwig today too. Thank you so much for the five months. Pog Nord <laughs> and TVM Blue, thank you so much for the two months. Also Ludwig, you're uh, that like bridge physics game you were playing yesterday. It looks kind of fun. Are you a physics major? I, I left the stream when you were, uh, you were trying to break like top 50 on one of them. You're a pretty smart guy, Ludwig. Polybridge, yeah, Ludwig's been playing it. He played it on stream yesterday. It was my first time watching him play it. It seems pretty fun. Got top 20 easy? Oh my gosh. 
Just kidding, I don't want to play anymore. Ludwig's too good at the game. Uh, what? Why does this... Okay, there we go. This sw these switches go sideways. Okay, minus key works. Alright, this board works. So we can continue. What? We have... Caroline in chat too? There's so many people in chat today. Is today like a everyone takes the day off day? What happened? Hello, Caroline. How are you doing? <clears throat> I tried to send a message and it wouldn't let me. Oh, <laughs> what the heck is going on? Yeah, seriously. All right, so the next step to do, since we have verified the PCB works, I wish we had a day off again. Same. Yo, Zekian, hello. Uh, we need to start tuning the stabilizers. Okay, question chat. Should we split the numpad? Ah, uh, no, we'll do the numpad. And I believe, is this plate fixed? Let's check out this plate. So every, I saw a couple people asking what does a carbon fiber plate look like? Let me show you guys what a carbon fiber looks like. Who is in TV? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Pandaku, thank you so much for the three months. Silb, thank you so much for the three months. Oh, come on. Where's the jazz at? It should be playing. You guys are not hear it. This is the carbon fiber. Oh, it looks like the layout is actually fixed. Okay, so we can't even split it. We're forced into the two stabs there, full backspace. And I believe this is a 625 space bar. Yeah, 625. Okay, nice. That makes my life easy. Failure, thank you so much to Touch Prime Sub. Velucini, thank you so much to Touch Prime Sub. Zinja TPV, thank you so much to Touch Prime Sub. Stepped caps lock though? What's wrong with stepped caps lock? We have a lot of stabilizers today. <laughs> today is gonna be a long stream. I mean, the board itself is also big, but a lot of stabs to do. I'm pretty slow when it comes to tuning stabs. Music is super low. I can raise the music for you. Is that better? Why did you stop flipping ballast songs? Casper the Nerd asks. Do you guys, do you notice something on my hand, Casper the Nerd? So now I have a reputation to hold of being 10 out of 10 hands on Twitch, but I got hurt here. I should get insurance on my hands, huh? But yeah, like my, <laughs> half of my livelihood comes from my hands, like filming my hands. So I can't get hurt on my hands. So that's why I stopped. I stopped lifting, I stopped spinning, Bow songs. Yeah. Most valuable hands on Twitch? Oh wait, shoot, I should VIP Ludwig. Where's my caps lock? You used to lift? Yeah, I used to lift. You're like Mango and Smash? What do you mean Mango and Smash? I heard this was the place to come for handpicks. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Oh, you haven't stopped wanking? Okay, Kuroi. Okay, buddy. That doesn't make my hand calloused. Teha bro, but scars make you look cool, bro. Uh, I don't like scars personally. I try to avoid them as much as possible. On myself, I mean. Where did you get the okay buddy from? I got it from the internet. I don't, I'm, I'm definitely not the one who came up with it. Wait, I thought okay buddy was like a popular, was it not like a popular phrase that went around for a while? Yeah, it is. TF Blade still uses it. Is he the one who started it? I know who TF Blade is. I've seen his highlight clips on YouTube, but I've never actually like tuned into any of his streams. All right, we're clipping the stabilizers right now. What knife are you using at the moment? I have a command, exclamation knives. Or exclamation knife. Lots of commands. It's all fads. <laughs> a buddy was a Ronnie Coleman thing, so maybe derived from that. Hmm. I just found out that my EOS R works with the Elg Elgato Cam Link, so I might stream some of my keyboard builds. Nice. Yeah, uh, I definitely know someone who streams off the EOS R. Should, I mean, most modern cameras, DSLRs, mirrorless, should work with the Elgato Cam Link. Oh, I'm waiting for the EOS R5 specs to come out. Kind of tempted to go in for the EOS R5 when it gets released. I want to sell my Sony cameras and fully convert to Canon. Isn't that expensive AF? Yeah, but I mean, I could sell my, I could sell two of my, the two Sony cameras I have, plus the two Sony lenses I have, get back a good amount. Yes, get rid of those Sonys. Yeah, I do want to. The rumored specs were insane? Yeah. I'm wondering if all of it is true though. Like assuming if all of the rumored specs are true for the EOS R5, it would literally, Canon would cannibalize itself. <laughs> it's going to cannibalize the sales of its own product line. So I feel like Canon's gonna handicap it in some way. What Sony cameras do you have? My main camera is a A7R3, my top down is a A6500. And I have the I have the G Master 24 to 70 f2.8 and the baddest 18mm 1.8. I like Nikon, but I only do photography. I started off on Nikon. I do like Nikon still, but uh, video is more of my primary focus now. And Nikon is just unusable <laughs> on that front. I have a Sony a7 III and it has been overheating on me a bunch. A7 III, did that come out before or after the R3? Cause I, I stream off my A7R3. I've had no issues with it overheating or anything. Um, there, there is a setting though, Ludwig. There should be a setting where it has like a safe turn off feature if it overheats. And if you turn it off, it'll increase the threshold for which that happens. Maybe that might help. 
Yeah, but Sony cameras have been kind of notorious for overheating. Still, I think. <clears throat> All right, we have finished clipping the stabs. Let us lube them. A brush. Is that actually Ludwig in the chat? Yeah, we have Ludwig in the chat. Crazy. I actually don't know how Ludwig found me. <laughs> I know how I found Ludwig, but I don't know how Ludwig found me. The A7 III was after the R3. Really, the A7 III was after the R3, but it has overheating issues? Huh. My A7 R3, yeah, it's never shut off on me during the stream. Show your mug? I think that Pac-Man, wait, what? What, I've never built a Pac-Man keyboard, Ludwig. <laughs> what, <laughs> what is this Pac-Man keyboard you speak of? Um, Scungy Bungo, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Wildcard, thank you so much for the tip. The yellow, blue, Swedish looking, oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, okay, oh, wow. A case of Twitch or YouTube algorithm working out, I guess. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Sparrow, thank you so much for the seven months. We're all peons in the algorithm game. <laughs> no, but not you, Ludwig. You're you're not a peon. You're You've been climbing like crazy. <laughs> yeah, Ludwig's growth is, has been insane. You guys should all check out Ludwig. How do you get lube in bulk? Um, I am sponsored by switchmod.net slash types. So I have special privileges of purchasing lube in bulk from them. If you want lube in bulk, you'll have to ask switchmod.net. But chances are they most likely won't agree to it. The algorithm isn't why Ludwig is growing though. That's also true. Ludwig just has amazing content. The lube goblin. <laughs> They don't realize how many melee players watch Teha. Who else watches me? I don't, wait, what? Do I have a big overlap with melee play? I don't even know I had an overlap with melee players. <laughs> what? Couple of my roomies, I, I actually don't know who you live with, Ludwig. I think there's a similarity between keyboard hobbyists and controller hobbyists. Yeah, so that's actually something I wanted to get, well, not controllers, but fight sticks, Ludwig. I'm hoping that maybe this year, I might start building fight sticks on stream too. Um, I know fight sticks have been getting somewhat popular recently yeah fight sticks and especially with the new the uh, the new fighting game that's supposed to come out from riot as well i would assume you could use fight sticks to play that fighting game right that'd be that'd be a good wave to ride are you going to lube the buttons yeah so people build fight sticks with like actual mechanical switches like the same thing same ones we use <clears throat> Hell yeah, people use it for smash. People use fight sticks for smash. Oh, maybe I need to get into fight sticks sooner then. 
Yeah, but I, I believe fight sticks are a smaller hobby than keyboards. And the way you get parts is kind of the same for fight stick parts as, as you do for keyboard parts, but like it's smaller, it takes longer. So I will definitely have to do some research. But in, term, in terms of building a fight stick, I believe it's definitely within my range of expertise. I just have to study up on it. Do you not use dielectric grease anymore? I don't. I have switched entirely to Crytox 205 grade zero. Dielectric grease still works perfectly fine though. I just think Crytox 205 grade zero is a slightly better product. Kekoro, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. What buttons are you looking at? Gamer fingers? I have no idea what you just asked. <laughs> what do you mean what buttons am I looking at? And what are gamer fingers? Fight sticks are pretty easy. The super custom stuff comes if you're making sticks from wood or making metal cases. Yeah, so so the guy that I actually purchased my CSGO knife off of, um, he actually does fight stick building. So I think I'm going to reach out to him and then learn up on it. But we'll see if I get to this year. Yeah, and fight sticks, it looks kind of cool because you can actually, like you, you have a bigger canvas for like art and design work. So if I can do it right, maybe we can come up with some cool builds. That'd be cool. Could I use 3 till 3 lube on stabs? Nope, that is way too thin for stabilizers. Yo, Shen Shen, hello. I love Nathan Kim and I love Heinebush so lit. <laughs> nice. Definitely try to reach out to Focus Attack. What does Focus Attack do? Are they a company? Are they an individual? Keone, hello. Hey, Taya, I missed you. Hello, Turtle Gets. How have you been? Oh, also Ludwig. I heard you hate cats. What about my cats though? They're so cute. Get how the cat's sleeping. I've been busy with classes. Ooh, feels bad. Gotta focus on classes. Do you like dogs? I do like dogs, yeah. I do like dogs. Um, eventually, I would love to get dogs, but in my current living situation, I just can't afford to have a dog. I secretly love cats and anime and constantly talk shit like Helga <laughs> from Hey <A> Arnold. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah. Shigun Tori, thank you so much for the five months. Fena Chini, thank you so much for the tier one sub. What breed of dog would you get? My dream dog is a collie. I love collies. But I heard they're shedding monsters. They can also get pretty big. But I think collies look beautiful. I want a smart dog if I ever get a dog. <laughs> no, not a collie. A collie. <laughs> C O, I believe it's C O L L I E. Get a dog that changes camera angles for you. <laughs> they are also much work. You need to stimulate them a lot, play, train, etc. Yeah, so that's why I haven't gotten one. <laughs> I mean, even if the dog didn't require a lot of work, I just don't have the means and time to take care of a dog right now. But maybe one day, if I ever retire, I'll get a collie. Train it. Have fun. Mine just sleep and fart though? Ooh. I am perfectly okay with lazy pets. As long as they let me cuddle with them. But if they're smart, that's a bonus.
I also want a Tibetan Mastiff, but I think those are illegal in the States. So it feels bad. They're also probably ridiculously hard to maintain. I have a Jack Russell mix. I love him. Ooh. Also wouldn't mind a Jindo. Gotta rep the Korean pride, you know? Tibetan Mastiffs are dope, yeah. I, I want like a massive, I want a giant Tibetan Mastiff that I can ride. I have a white lab Mastiff mix and he's huge. Yeah, like I want a dog that can support me horseback riding it. And I want him to, he needs to be able to jump over fences with me on the back. That's the kind of dog I want. Make sure you wear a helmet. <laughs> Tibetan Mastiff thought I was the only one? Yo. Tibetan Mastiff. I want one. <laughs> That's called a horse? No, have you guys seen how big Tibetan Mastiffs get? There are some crazy big Tibetan Mastiffs. Probably roam like the, uh, I believe, I forget what they originate from. Oh, probably Tibet. I don't know. <laughs> but they get huge. <sighs> you like Nespresso coffee pods or is that like the pre-built of coffee? Nespresso is a pre I guess you can say Nespresso is like the pre built of coffee, but it's actually not that bad. Um, my parents use it quite often just because they're lazy. Um, I can't deny the convenience of Nespresso pods. And for, for how convenient it is to get it done, I think Nespresso tastes not too bad. Keurig equals razor. <laughs> yeah. Like, I won't complain if someone offers me an espresso pod when I go over to their house. And I wouldn't think any less of them for owning a Keurig or using espresso pods. My mom uses it. It's pretty fire. Yeah. But I really like the noise of their badass espresso machine. I've never tried out their espresso machine. Yeah. So what is the TGR Jane of Coffee? The TGR Jane of Coffee is probably like whatever whatever two chains featured on his most expensivest shit series. He drank like a cup of coffee that was like seven hundred dollars or something. It's ridiculous. I've I've never tried the TGR Jane of Coffee. Ooh, I have tried Luok coffee. That was actually pretty good. It was like cheap Luwak though, it wasn't super expensive, but it was nice. Cat poop coffee, very good, highly recommend. He should do the most expensivest keyboard. Wait, I didn't even, oh crap, I forgot to lube one of these legs. Best coffee is free coffee? Ooh, hello Sean. Free coffee is good, yeah. I also don't mind <clears throat> like diner coffee. Sometimes you just feel, sometimes you're just in the mood to just drink some good old regular diner coffee. You know, it's not the best, but sometimes you just feel, you feel the need for that. Best coffee is the coffee you steal from the doctor's lounge while getting yelled at. GG. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Gas station coffee. Now no, that's gross. I think I think diner coffee you get from like actual sit down diners. I personally think it's a, it's a step above gas station coffee. Gas station coffee is kind of gross.
Take care of anything in the chat. Pizza is on the way to I don't want to get pizza grease on the stream. Night all. Eviscerate. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Gas station coffee is that coffee except when there isn't a single coffee shop around and you've been driving for 10 hours? Yes. Th those are the only times I will purchase gas station coffee. <laughs> is NordVPN a sponsor or not? Um, they are sponsoring this stream, but no, they're not a permanent or official sponsor. Um, it's just a one-time thing we're trying out. If it works out well, maybe it'll lead to other sponsorship opportunities. But no, today is just a one-time thing. But thank you for bringing it up, Keone. Uh, for those of you guys who didn't know, today is their eighth year anniversary. And they are having a 70% off sale off their three-year plan. You can save up to 30, 70% off if you use my link down below, norvpn.org slash types. You also get one month free if you use my link. Jack's Tastic, hello. Yeah, I'll give them a more proper shout out later on. But since people have been asking. I want to try it, not going to lie. I mean, if you guys have never used VPNs, I would highly recommend. I'll, I'll definitely go into some of the use cases for VPNs, but definitely recommend to invest in one kind of VPN. Assuming you have the need for it. Do you know why some spacebar stabs make a ticking sound even though it's lubed? Uh, the ticking sound might be from warped stabilizers, or sorry, warped keycaps, maybe? Or you, it's lube farts. Yes, lube can fart and make noises. Yeah, there's, there's a couple reasons why it can tick. What if I told you you were pronouncing Jack's Tastics. Oh, it's not Jack's Tastic. It's Jack's Static. Crap, Keone. Why did Jack's Static never catch me? Call me off for it. <laughs> I've been saying Jack's Tastic this whole time. It's Jack's Static. GG. <laughs> John Wong, thank you so much for the bits. Chat is pretty quiet on the bits tonight. Someone find me an Alice PC. No worries. Hope you can find an Alice PCB though. I corrected you like a year ago, but I gave up. Dang, I've been saying Jack Statics wrong for a whole year. <laughs> well, now, now I know it's Jack Static. All right, I'm applying lube to the wires now. What's the general consensus on zeal stabs? Um, I don't know about general consensus, but my if you want my opinions, um, I think zeal stabs are very smooth, but they're very expensive. Uh, I personally have had cases where the wire pops up pretty easily, <clears throat> um, but that I think, I don't know, some people have claimed they've never had zeal stabs pop out easily. I always pop zeal stabs somehow though, so those are my thoughts on it. But if you're okay with the wire popping out from time to time, it's not a deal breaker, you could push it back. You can't push it back in, but they are very expensive, but they're very smooth. Do they pop out on Holy Panda builds? Uh, regardless of the build, gain ball. Like it just pops out sometimes. 
like pop out when you remove caps? Yes. Not even remove. I've had cases where I just wiggle the keycap around like without pulling it and the wire just pops. Um, Kenny, thank you so much for the 500 bits. I find it funny how Tifu doesn't use his keyboard. He doesn't use the keyboard anymore. <clears throat> is it because he doesn't like it or is he just rotating keyboards out? I'm Because or thanks to you, I bought a Tofu HHKB and plan to build it with alias switches and Everguide stabs. Nice. He's rotating? I mean, he's had it for a good year now. I'm not, not here. I think it's been, it's already been a month since I built Tifu his keyboard. So I mean, I could see him getting... Tifu probably has more keyboards than I do, to be honest. He might just be rotating. What do you think of tattoos? Um, <laughs> what do I think of tattoos? I mean, I don't, I don't see myself getting a tattoo personally, but I don't think much of it. I'm, I'm personally not a huge fan of like in your face tattoos though. No, I mean, I mean face tattoos are very in your face, but I mean, I just meant like, like very like extravagant tattoos. If that makes sense. But yes, like face tattoos are an instance of very in your face. It's literally in your face. You should get a tattoo of yourself riding a Tibetan Mastiff over a fence. <laughs> Was it hard making keyboards for the first time? Mm, I wouldn't say it was hard, but it was stressful. Um, stressful for a couple reasons, just because like back in the day, there wasn't a whole lot of information out there. You just kind of learned as you went or you hoped someone answered your questions. Um, also stressful because the parts you're dealing with tend to be expensive. Like nowadays, there's tons of options for replacement PCBs. Like back then, like if you were building a keyboard and like you, you screwed up your PCB, there was a good chance you're just screwed. <laughs> and you had to get a custom PCB made for it or... Yeah. Do you play R6? I do not. Yeah, like I, I start, a lot of my early builds were duck keyboards. And like, if you, <laughs> if you destroy a duck PCB, GG. <laughs> There's not much you can do afterwards. I mean, nowadays you could probably find replacements, but yeah, there weren't many options back in the day. 
Off to pick up my daughter from school. Have fun. HBCP is my favorite board right now. Nice. Hope you drive safely, Jack Static. These days I can find replacement PCBs for six year old customs. Yeah. I mean, heck, you can even, there's even duck PCBs in QMK now. Back then, there was a period where they were not in QMK and you had to use OTD, O2D, sorry. It's a very ass piece of software. That's an understatement. <laughs> Thoughts on the Prime Elise? I'm thinking about it, which is shocking because it's a 40 and Ergo. Uh, I'm not a very big person on 40%, so I'm probably the wrong person to ask. I don't have much experience with 40%. All right. Hopefully I won't need to retune any of these. No, why is everyone saying no music? I have music playing. Okay, let me make the music higher. How's that? They are trolls? Do I need spacers for this? No, I don't need spacers. I have so much room on my desk now. What'd you do, Chris? Did you finally clean up? Wait, your desk didn't look all that messy yesterday though. What lube are you using for your stats? I'm using Crytox 205 grade zero from switchmod.net slash types. Saves you 4%. And sorry about the airplane. This keyboard is so tiny. Oh, yeah, definitely tinier than your Razer keyboard. When will you become a Shopify shareholder? <laughs> I don't know, I haven't gotten a response since that tweet. The CEO... I don't know, maybe I responded to him too late. Good evening from the UK, hello Xerxes. Yeah, sorry about the helicopter. Would you recommend 3204 for Holy Pandas? Yes. What's that big green thing? This is a PCB. Printed circuit board. Why isn't my key boss switch opener working? Mm, you're probably using it wrong. <laughs> oh, 
Holy moly, I never thought about what it meant until you said it right now. Yeah, in case you guys didn't know what PCB stood for, it's printed circuit board. <laughs> I thought it was just fancy name. <laughs> no. What brand of underwear do you prefer? <laughs> um, I'm not too picky when it comes to underwear. I just buy the three pack from Costco. Never lost. I think it's the three pack. I think it's Calvin Klein. Like the, not the briefs. No, maybe the, I think they're briefs. Palace makes underwear? I didn't even know they made underwear. You guys, are, you guys are all weird. Boxers or briefs? I honestly don't have a preference. I personally, yeah, I don't have a preference. As long as it's not too tight, I'll wear it. I have an empty bank account because I watch your videos. <laughs> Feels bad. All right, two more screws. I think. How many keys do you own use? I have a command, exclamation inventory. Can I send you some of my bespoke underwear? Sure. <laughs> sure, poke powered turtle. I'm pretty sure it won't survive the wash given your uh, printing technology. <laughs> but sure, it'll be good content. May I send you some of my bespoke bath water? Okay. I believe I have installed all the screws. Yes. Is 50 to 60 words per minute good? No, you're trash. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I believe the worldwide average word per minute is 60, so. You are slightly below average or about average when it comes to typing speed. Which by American standards is a pass. By Asian standards is a fail. I can't speak for other ethnicities, but yeah. Is 180 words per minute good? Yes. 180 is. I would love to type out. Make sure this GST connector. Okay, dude, Mr. Reader Read. I thought 60 was the average. I thought 60 was the average. Is it not? Is it lower? Is it higher? Above 60 is above average? What is the worldwide average then? 40 is average in the US? Are you kidding me? 60 is likely the average among typing pro typing professionals and their average is 60? What? Really, is the average below 60? 
Most people I see still type with two fingers. No way. Nathan is actually challenger typist. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I may be silver in CSGO and League, but I guess I am challenger when it comes to typing. Definitely not rank one. I know there are a couple streamers who type ridiculously fast, much faster than I do. I mean, I, I honestly don't even type that fast. Average of 130 is not that good. Tubes is rank one? No, I don't even think Tubies is rank one. I I think Jamie might type faster than Tubies. Jamie has an I gumdrop. I gumdrop types ridiculously fast. Um Recful also extremely fast typist. Very jealous of their speeds. I've seen clips of Jamie type and it's kind of crazy. Yeah. I wonder if Jamie knows who I am. It'd be cool to like have Jamie on my stream and just have her type on all my keyboards seeing like an actual fast typist type and what their thoughts are. She probably has no idea who I am. Why do you have to stream so late? Today is my NA friendly stream. I stream earlier on Thursdays and Fridays. Ooh. All right, let's see. I'm Hooligan, thank you so much for the TV, uh, the tip. Have been watching on YouTube for a while. First live stream, nice. Silence. I think we have to redo enter. Yeah, we need to redo enter. Also, I still have no idea what this GST connector is for. Any CS after build, Nathan? I'm rusty after going away for my birthday. I'm down to play CS afterwards. If you're awake, the stream's gonna take a while, but it's a Actually, I don't, I don't need to straighten anything, so it might not take too long. Are you leaving it in? I don't know what it's for.
Oh, it's for the indicators? Well, I should leave it in then, right? So I'm guessing I connect this to something up there. If I'm gonna use it. Do you build other PC related parts? I built my PC on stream with Christopher Yi, if that counts. <laughs> but I don't build PCs too often. <laughs> Daughter board on the top half? Yeah. So I guess I just leave... I'm guessing I leave it here and then I plug it in after it's all built, right? Chris built a TBH? Yeah, that is very true. I, I mostly watched and was moral support. We supervised each other. I don't know if I supervised much. Not that I would have known how to supervise. The day one fans watched that Crytox jar grow emptier and emptier, true. That's true. Some people have seen the slow fading of this jar. What color HBCP is this? This is a silver. Chemics to make coffee daily? Yes. Hey, my cats are knocked out. How's your Tuesdays going, everyone? I didn't miss the soldering? Nope. When did you first decide to make this like a business and stuff? Were you doing it for fun? Yes, I was doing this as a hobby and for fun before. And then it just naturally grew. And then eventually I had to, I couldn't work both my full-time job and do this. So I decided to quit my job last September. Pretty bad actually, I've been sick for like a week. Dang, hope it gets better. Hope you don't have the coronavirus. That'll be bad.
revived. Thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back. All right. Thankfully, the switch is not super tight today. <laughs> Look at Nami. Cast looking cozy, yeah? Yeah. Do you think unholy pandas are unusable? I don't know if they're unusable, but I don't think they're great switches. I would personally never use them. This PCB is hot swap? Nope, this is not hot swap. We're gonna be soldering. Is carbon fiber softer or stiffer than polycarb? It is stiffer than polycarb. Can you spank the keyboard today like the good old days? <laughs> Joseph, you're into some weird stuff, man. Is it time to bring back spanking the keyboard for donos and bits? What lube do you recommend for HHKB? Uh, I personally like 3204 or 3203. I think 205 grade zero is a little too thick for Topper. Trying to redeem channel points for you to lick these boards? I don't know about that. Oh, I don't have my... this. There we go. Slab baby Jesus, thank you so much for the two months. Anyone fed the cat yet? Nope. No one has ever redeemed 200,000 points. I don't even think the feature has been live for long enough for anyone to have accrued 200,000 points on any channel, I think. I could be wrong though. I'm at 398.1k, what? Why don't you redeem to feed the cat? Oh, 38.1. <laughs> I'm at 42k, but I keep wasting them. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who wonder who encourages wasting 2,000 points a day on stream. People have had redeemed 500k in XQC chat. Oh. I wonder... XQC might have maybe had the feature for longer. I don't know. Uh, I think Twitch... It seems like Twitch rolls out some features to bigger streamers and partners first before everyone else gets it. And he streams every day. True. XQC streams a ridiculous amount. XQC has an end the stream feature with points. What? See, but that, that works for XQC though. He's already made enough where he can just end his stream whenever he wants. <laughs> I can't, I don't have that luxury. I should honestly be streaming more, but I'm, I'm also trying to focus on YouTube, so. Nathan has been slacking, no YouTube and no stream. I am working on a video, I'm working on a video. It's gonna be sick.
Yeah, but I don't know. It's gotten... Like, half my day is spent responding to people, answering questions, going back and forth with, like, brands and companies. And, like, 70% of the brands that reach out to me are, like, some, like, fake... Not fake, but like they're trying to start off. And like they don't even know what I do. They just blindly reached out, to probably mass emailed everyone. Yeah, and it takes up a good amount of time. Imagine a Nathan switch and stab blue va 2.0. <laughs> Nathan, right now, regretting going full time and want to go back to software engineering? No, I do enjoy what I do. In reality, half the day Nathan is playing with his cats. <laughs> I, <laughs> I do have to play with my cats. I'm trying to get some sleep. Can you ping me? You know, you know. Yeah, I will ping you, Karu. Gonna get like an hour or so sleep? All right. I'm starting to fall asleep, so I'll see the rest of the stream on YouTube. Good night, the Dodi. Have a good one. Please show how to use Switch Opener. I'm too dumb. What do you mean, Janky Render? <laughs> Check out any of my VODs where I review Switches. Because I use it when I open when I review Switches. You're literally my favorite streamer. Please read Twig Ghosty. Thank you. Have I heard about the tacit switch from Keyboard? I feel like I've heard of it. I don't know much about it though. What's your longest build ever? I'm not sure. I think my longest build stream was around four or five hours. Maybe over four hours, under five though. Have you submitted your McManus brackets yet? I have not. I should get on top of that too. Are all of the boards you build on stream commissions? Most of them are, yes. I do sometimes build personal boards, but not too often I build personal keyboards. Are alpacas going to be continually stocked? Yes. You shouldn't have to worry about alpacas not ever being reproduced for a while. Man, now there's police cars going up. What's happening? Should I try to get Yacht Pandas and Halo stems in order to build my own Holy Pandas, or is the new unloved drop version a better choice of value? Um, either is fine. I mean, your life would be easier if you just purchase drop Holy Pandas because you don't have to actually make the switch yourself. But in terms of performance, pretty much the same. I called the cops on you for having illegally small cats. What do you mean? They're, they're normal sized. They are still kittens. 
What do you think about a Jane V2 CE? I think it looks amazing. Still waiting for mine to deliver, but I don't know when that's going to happen. But it seems like some people are starting to receive theirs. Croissant, hello. What colors did you choose for your Flex Virgo? I think I got the purple top. Black bottom? I forget what I put in. <laughs> I just kind of entered. Okay, everything looks... In. Did you buy into thermal? Yes, I'm also waiting on a thermal. Oh, it's wrong. Kintsugi Virgo, please. What? Are the housings of the MX Zions from V2 or V1 housings? Does it matter? It does not matter. I have no idea what housing the client used to make theirs. All right, let us start. Sorry. Right. We've got a couple sponsors of Teha Types. The first one being Dixie Mac. Head on over to DixieMac.com slash Teha Types because GMK Modern Dolch is currently live. A fantastic set you can pick up. You can also purchase Teha Type stickers, Pelican cases to protect your keyboards, nice desk mats. Check out DixieMac.com slash yeah, types. Modern Dolce Light. Yes, that's what, is that, what did I say? Uh, Mech Madness 2020 is also live. Have you guys seen the prizes for Mech Madness 2020? Oh man. Oh, I only said Modern Dolce. Whoops. One of the prizes for Mech Madness 2020 is going to be whatever the next key cult case coming out is at the time of redemption that's pretty crazy so if you guys want to potentially win a key cult key keyboard <clears throat> for not too much effort check out mechmadness2020.com the next sponsor we have is drop head on over to drop.com I do have affiliate links down below the stream. Doesn't cost you guys any extra. Helps me out a little bit if you want to support the channel. <clears throat> but drop. I believe they brought some WASD keycaps back. They got keyboard products constantly stocked and live for pre-order. So check out drop.com. The next sponsor we have is KBD Fans. Head on over to kbdfans.com. They've got tons of keyboard parts for purchase for not too expensive relative to the rest of the hobby. Highly recommend most of their products. They're very good bang for buck. 
The next sponsor we have is Key Cult. Head on over to keycult.com. You can still pre-order their merch that they released last week. But they also sell keyboards on average once a month. Be sure to sign up for their newsletters to be notified of when their keyboard sales happen. I'm currently using this keyboard up here. That's the Key Cult keyboard. Next sponsor we have is Kono. Head on over to kono.store. They've got tons of keycap sets currently running for Group I. Be sure to check out all of them. See if any of them interest you. But they also sell pre-built keyboards like the Kira 96, the Hex Gears X1, amongst other things. The next sponsor we have is Novel Keys. Head on over to novelkeys.xyz. Uh, Mike was actually in here earlier. This desk mat I'm using, the GMK Metropolis desk mat, will be restocking shortly on novelkeys.xyz. I have a discount code with them using Teha Keys at checkout. Saves you 5% off in-stock items. But you can also purchase switches, keycap sets, desk mats, stickers, keyboard merch, lube, springs, Novel Keys has them all. Little Air Bison, thank you so much for the four months. Thank you, thank you. The next sponsor we have is Prime Keyboards. Head on over to primekb.com. You can purchase Alpaca Linears, which I have been a fan of lately. You can also purchase Duck Sidewinder and Duck Raven keyboard kits. A very nice high tier tray mount custom Korean case. <clears throat> as well as DSA keycap sets. Next we have switchmod.net slash types. That's where I get all of my lubes from. I use Crytox 205 grade zero for my stabilizers. And I highly recommend all of SwitchMod's lubes for switch lubing. Using my affiliate link saves you 4% off your lube purchases. And last but not least, we have zopc.net slash types. In order to make MX Xylance, you will need to purchase Zeal switches. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, just any Zeal switch housing works. And then you take a cherry silent switch. You put the stem in a Zeal switch housing and that's how you create this Frankenstein switch we have today, the MX Xylant. But Zeal has fantastic linears, tactiles, silent linears, silent tactiles, super expensive stabilizers, green tea KitKat, sorry, matcha KitKat bars, and sometimes keyboards. Check out zeopc.net slash types. What? What? Why can't I? What? GG. Fluffy Buttocks, thanks so much for the six months. Do you think MX Xylance are worth the price you pay? I personally think so. I really like MX Xylance. 
I think they are still my favorite silent linear switch of choice. Um, it is definitely pricey as you need to purchase Zeal switch housings, but I really like it. Um, some people do say it's too mushy, the bottoming out experience, um, so that your mileage may vary on that. I really like it, but yeah, for some people, it's too much. Why are they better than Helios? Um, I personally like the fact that silent switches have a very soft uh, rubber tip on either side of the stem. The rubber dampener on Helios are a little bit stiffer to me than the ones used in Cherry Silent Switches. So I really like the softness of the bottom out. Is that fan even sucking up all the fumes? It is. LNSP, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. Dang, my cats are still sleeping. What? Man, it's so hot in SoCal today. And my room is even hotter. <laughs> Feels bad. Choco Essence, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. How hot? It's, I think it was around 80 degrees when I started streaming. The outside temperature. Is it me or is the shot a little underexposed? It might be. There you go. Eighty is way too hot. Yeah, I can't stand the eighty. What did my What happened? It's cold in Seattle. I would love it for it to be cold right now. <laughs> what the heck is this? It is dumb freezing in NYC. Ooh. I want it to be dumb freezing. It's negative 15 degrees Celsius where I am in Canada. How it could be worse? Okay, negative 15 Celsius is a little too much. I don't want it to be that cold. I got my Keychron K2 yesterday and gotta say, I wish I didn't cheap out. I mean, if that's your first keyboard, Bry Standard, not too bad. At least it's still mechanical. Could be worse. Bill, thank you so much for the two months. Let me try to get through soldering this as best I can. What do you think of the new interest check KBD Bella rendering? I don't think I've seen it yet, actually. When did it come out? I kind of took this entire weekend off. K2. 
KBD Bella. I'll take a look after I finish soldering. Hold on. Funny how right now I'm trying to convince a bunch of knife people on my Instagram how much better custom keyboards are are over over a store bought one is. <laughs> I haven't tried convincing any Casper, any knife people at least. But yeah, I I briefly DM'd a knife maker that I like, and he was very shocked. He was very shocked that people pay the same amount of money they do for a keyboard as they do a knife. And I was like, let's think about that statement. You are also selling pocket knives <laughs> for a ridiculously high price. Which knife maker? Uh, Billy Cho. I really want one of his knives. Where can I get one of those trays for your screws? These are from Rama Works. Yeah. But like, I feel like once you're in one ridiculous hobby, you can't really ridicule another hobby. I'm, I'm not saying, yeah, I'm not saying I had a bad interaction with Billy Cho. He's a nice guy, but I'm, I'm just saying, like for me, because I've gone this deep into keyboards, I don't think I can really, I'm not really surprised when I find out there's crazy hobbies out there. <laughs> because paying, paying thousands for a keyboard is pretty ridiculous, I would say. But if people can pay thousands for keyboards, they can pay thousands for other items. Is this the guy who collects cards? Yeah, I collect cards too. I wouldn't be surprised if a thousand dollar deck comes along eventually. I don't think cards are quite as expensive yet. I think the most expensive card decks go are probably a couple hundred. Will people pay thousands for snake oils, <laughs> AKA IEMs? <laughs> Isn't that Tom Sachs deck pretty expensive? Uh, I think the Tom Sachs deck was 20 bucks, which is on the pricier side for a retail price of a deck of cards, but. It's not like, it's not like hundreds. I just recently realized how deep I was when I saw a good meme on RMK and couldn't explain why it was funny to my wife or friends. <laughs> yeah, retail prices of decks are reasonable. It's the aftermarket that's crazy. That tends to be the case for most niche hobbies though, I feel like. Uh, even mainstream hobbies, it's, it's always the aftermarket. Like, I think Supreme retail price isn't that bad. It's the aftermarket that's like WTF. Like even Yeezys, Yeezys retail price aren't super crazy, but the aftermarket is like, what? <laughs> Who came up with these prices? Do Yeezys still even fetch crazy retail or crazy aftermarket prices? I don't really follow streetwear or sneakers anymore. I've sold original Jerry's nuggets for one point. <laughs> My gosh. That's it. 
프라임 투사운드 라이커 딕 버터 머치 스킬 이즈 인발브드인 빌딩 워 케이비 아이브 워치 더 퓨어 오브 웨어 유튜브 비디오즈 언드 임 싱킹 어바웃 메이킹 마이 온 인스트러블린 투시 웨어 아이 쿠드 고랑 벗 원더드 이프 데어 어즈 애니 인폰트 팁스 DWS and thank you so much for the tip. Not trying to sound like a dick, but how much skill is involved in building a keyboard? Not much. Um, you just need to know how to solder. Keyboard building is more about just how much knowledge of parts do you have? It's the same with, I think building a keyboard is the same as building a PC. It's essentially just Lego block for adults. Um, with the added step of you need to solder for most keyboard kits. Um, I guess tuning. If you're not very good with your hands, you might screw up the lubing process, but you could you could outsource lubing to someone else. But yeah, outside of soldering, there isn't really much technical skill involved. It's just mostly research, figuring out what you like and don't like, and then finding the parts that you like. So how do you know you're soldering in the right places? Um, how do I know? <laughs> There's only a couple of places you can solder. Or you should be soldering at least. But also experience. Is that enough ventilation while soldering? I also have a window like right next to me, so that's fine. Whatever this fan doesn't pick up, it will leave through the window next to me almost at 40k points nice how often do you relube your switches i haven't relubed any of mine but um it depends on how much lube you put bobby mcbobby i do feel like my key cult number two could use a relubing but this wasn't lubed all that heavily I might really lube it this year. But I would say hopefully at least a year or two before you consider relubing your switches. Where do you get your limo cables? I have a command, exclamation cables, if you're interested. Have you ever thought about relocating to SoCal now that you're a full-time streamer? I am in SoCal, Scri Scrio City. I've been in SoCal since being full-time. There's no way I could afford living up in the Bay Area. Hi, do you shave your arms? No, I do not shave my arms. Does it look like I shave my arms? Shave arm with soldering. <laughs> Why do you need to be in SoCal if you're streaming? Because of cost of living. <laughs> um, yeah, cost of living. <laughs> I don't think streamers make much. Even even within the top ten streamers, the disparity is huge. I think between like the top three versus like the bottom three. And streaming is very volatile, there's, yeah. Do 
Do you ski or snowboard? I have gone very few times in my life. But I prefer to snowboard. Alright, that switch had a bent pin. Alright. Let's solder this. Okay, I think I finished soldering. Let's see how we did. We don't even need to check for straightness. This is entirely fixed. People should not forget that streaming is one of the most unreliable jobs there is. Only 0.001 can make a living out of it. I don't know about 0.0001. That's... Uh, maybe that's a little too low. Alright, so this doesn't work. I'm going to guess this is some kind of function key. Oh. Did that reset the PCB? Yeah, that reset. Okay, so this is function key. I think I did function R. That's probably reset, stopped working for a bit. Wait, this is pause, what? All right, everything works fine. Dang. Let me go wash my hands. Kuroi speaks the truth? What did Kuroi say? Nathan ain't even making a living off streaming. I saw him on Skib Bro barring clothes from the... <laughs> That's true. We, we did walk by pretty close to Skid Row. All right, I'm going to go wash my hands. Finish soldering. BRB. I can assemble this keyboard up.
Okay. Time to assemble. Do the final assembly. Clean up a bit. How would you describe the difference in tactility between Ergo Clears and Holy Pandas? Ergo Clears have a, I would say, a noticeably smaller bump than Holy Pandas. The Holy Pandas also... Holy Pandas, there's this large bump you have to overcome, and then once you overcome that bump, it just immediately drops off into a, a very fast bottom out, a linear bottom out. Whereas with Ergo Clears, it's a little bit less of a fallout. Ergo Clears also not as rounded of a bump. Hit Replica, thank you so much for the tip. Been watching for a few months now. How have you been watching me for a few months and not know what my thoughts are on the Ducky One Too Mini? Um, I think it's whatever. <laughs> I would personally never buy a One Too Mini willingly, other than for the sole purpose of comparing it to other boards or reviewing it. But I'm also not the right person to ask about pre-built keyboards. <laughs> I don't really like pre-builds in general. Okay, let us open this. Ooh. Okay, is this a 1.5 hex? Yes, it is 1.5. Why do you have a sleeve over the cable on the... Oh! This is how this cable came from Zap Cable? I believe... Uh, maybe Met Cables. I just never bothered to uh, take it off. Didn't notice you got a Seattle? Yeah! I got the Seattle one when I went to Seattle last month. What is your favorite artisan on the Ocelot right now? Probably this. I'm, I'm personally a huge fan of the new Togepi sculpt. I really like. Jeff Leppard, hello. I'm typing on my silver HPCP right now. Nice. Oh, we have Dixie Mech too. You see that Mech Minus 2020? Yes, I did. Dixie, come on. I have your server announcements. I follow it on my sponsor news channel now. I did see it. I saw the free key cult. Pretty crazy. I mentioned it today during my uh, sponsor segment as well. Kelly and Colin do some cute stuff. Yeah, they're really nice. I've been very fortunate to get to talk to them quite a bit. Colin watches my streams sometimes too, Pluto. I don't know if you ever noticed. Yeah, I, I talk to Kelly quite often on Instagram. Great couple. I know you a busy man. <laughs> oh, also, the, the package arrived, Dixie. I'll probably show it off tomorrow or sometime this week. He ain't busy. He spent half his time shopping for skin. What do you mean? That was during the subathon. That's a special event. Come on. Bauer? No, not the Bauer. I don't know. Dixie hates me. I haven't. A couple people have received the Bauer. I don't even have shipping for mine. Feels bad. I don't have shipping for the Jane V2CE or for the Bauer. Um, I got I got a tease from the IBM remake. He sent me an email asking for confirmation on my address, and then still no shipping on that. Hopefully it arrives eventually. <laughs> All right. This is what the, the top piece looks like. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, so that's that's the daughter board there. So I've got to plug that into there. We don't need this brass plate. We just got alignment TikToks. 
Ooh, look at this. HBCP. Internally engraved. I'll snitch on him for you. What do you mean? What is there to snitch about me? I'm a good boy. <clears throat> Where are the... Should we burger mount this? Where did Twitch get the idea that you are my favorite Korean streamer? Wait, what? <laughs> That's just something I say. Whoa, 159. Thank you so much for the 13 months. Welcome back. How are you doing? Vote yes or no in chat. Should I burger mount this? Don't need this plate. Oh, <laughs> it's a unanimous yes. I actually don't know where the burger mount went. Ah, there's the rings. Wait, I don't have enough rings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we only burger mount on one side? Which side should we burger mount then? What? Uh. Huh, okay. Bottom top. Differing opinions. Cut each ring in half. I feel like, okay, let me first install this starter board. Crap, how do you? Hmm. How do I do this without scratching up the... Doesn't feel right. No, that was right. Dang it. Okay. <clears throat> the cable sticking out. I feel like it would make sense to put the screw between, I mean, the, the O ring between the plate and the top piece. Right? Yeah, er, what? Oh, I'm dumb. There's cutouts for the O-ring here. Aha! Yes, this is what I meant. You should put the O-ring between the top piece and plate. That's why there's only seven. The 
Soldier Time, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. You, you, Ray, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub as well. All right. This cable is kind of annoying. What? This cable keeps peeking out. How do I make it not peek out? something <sighs> yeah I realize <laughs> one o-ring is gone but where did it go we had been sent extra o-rings <laughs> in the black pot on your desk you troll no This? No. It's not that. <sighs> did you check under the keyboard pieces? Yes, I did. It's not on my desk. I don't 
think. And it's not attached here. Can't I find it? Congrats on getting into the Apex bubble. Maybe we just can't o-ring this. Would it be weird if I o-ring this with one missing? Perhaps just o-ring the four corners? Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, I know, I know. Let's remove this. Yeah, I'll search for it after the stream. How many do you have? I have the exact amount sent. We'll do the four corners and two alternating here. Yeah, but for the sake of time, I will search for it off stream. How do people do this? <laughs> this JST connector keeps getting in the way. Oh, we got it. All right. We must hurry and screw this. Your po- oh, whoops. Which linear switches would you recommend? I have a command, exclamation linears.
OB Izzy, hello. What did you study so that you can build keyboards? What I studied had nothing to do with building keyboards. <laughs> I studied computer science and applied math. Tommy Choo Choo, hello. Um, Prodigy, thank you so much for the three months. This is Jordan, welcome back for two months. Yxu, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Uniel, thank you so much for the three months. Oh, what did Croy link? Question mark? What? Oh no no no. No no this one this is not the this is not when I lost it, Crow. I found that second one. I knew it was missing, so that's why I replaced it in the same spot. <laughs> Come on. I lost it afterwards. When I when I placed the PCB in and then I tried to push the cable that was showing here. Yeah, it was it's after that. All right. And then the final screws. How much is this build? I believe this case retailed. How much does this retail for? 400, 500, 450? The switches will run you, Are you going to put over a dollar a switch. Keycaps depends on however much you want to pay for. Comebacks, thank you so much for the six months. Are you gonna put CRP Peacock on this? No, I have something in mind. Oh. Three seconds into clip. Don't know where it went. <laughs> it's okay. I will find it after the stream. Okay, last screw. Today was not a good day to use a black desk mat. Or in this bag. It's not here. Oh! Wait, I found it! Of course I find it after I... Oh, Shiba. We unscrew this and put it in. Oh, all right. 
We are doing this again. <laughs> I'm so tilted. Of course I find it after I've assembled everything. <laughs> Big bra moment? Yeah, seriously. Best place to get an Alice clone. Any insider on the IDB Ergo release? Um, no real best place to get an Alice clone that I can think of. I think all the group buys for Alice like boards have ran. That I know of. Just missed Tengu. Yeah, I believe Tengu is closed, right? Rukia round two soon. Ooh, is this still going to be polycarb jack static? Also, welcome back. Or have you finally found a way to do UWHMP two, three? Gotta take these out again. Place your best whether he loses more O-rings or not. <laughs> I hope I don't lose more. First time here oving it. Thank you, Kaylee. Hope you hope you come back for more. Where can I find those mouse pads? Check out all the sponsors underneath my stream. I get all of my mouse pads from my sponsors. You do builds, is it common that you have to go to the secondary market to source components? Um, I don't know if you're asking about me specifically or in general. In general, yes, it is common that people purchase secondhand. Okay. Don't lose this last one. Okay, all the O-rings are there. Nice, no cable leak. Have we done it? Parabola, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. <sighs> oh, sorry, Parabola. <laughs> I don't know why I said Parabola. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm a little... I think I got a little too tilted off the O-ring hunt. Alright, let's tighten the screws.
thing. These are some high quality screws. Highly used. Some math guy you are? Yeah. I was lying about my math degree. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, cutie tricks. <clears throat> it's a little bit hot. But had a pretty productive morning. Hi, math, please forgive him. Toxic. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm not a pure math major, so it feels bad. Favorite switches right now? <clears throat> I have a command. Exclamation favorite switches. the same place again. And by executive decision, I will be putting on the best set ever made. We still haven't put this on a keyboard yet. So this is the set I will use. Best set ever to have graced planet Earth. The set that is GMK Handlebite. This is peak German engineering. Ooh. Lol, what's thank you so much for the five months? Let's go nipple method, baby. Hoi poloi, thank you so much for the tip. Five dollar for no hander bites? I'm not that cheap, hoi poloi. You're gonna have to donate fifty dollars for no hander bite. You cannot stop the beast that is hander bite. This is the ultimate big brains GMK set of the Eon. Any oil prints want to donate $50? I don't think I have any oil prints viewers. Ooh, sounds so good. Pretty sure Handerbite is making this sound good too. 
아이스웨어 핸더빈 룩스 라이크 이츠 스트레이트 쿨럼 어레고 두플로 박스 존 워홍 땡기 소 머치 포더 더 비트스 스트레이트 프롬 더 레고 두플로 박스 Oh my god. Nami is just not. Silent space bars sounds so booty. Okay, short right shift. This guys, this is looking fire. This is avant-garde keycap design. Oh, no mere mortal could understand this. To the chaos. Let's just make this some random red key. How about that? <laughs> make a wrong profile too. Ronald McDonald back at it again. This is repulsive. This is not repulsive. If you find this repulsive, you don't understand design. You don't understand color theory. If you think Handerbite looks ugly. Spooky Illy, thanks so much for the seven months. Welcome back. Anyone who hates on GMK Handerbite, probably colorblind, does not know anything about color theory. Probably has bad taste. Matterick, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. It's a little too bright. All right. Ja -ja! Oh, dude, this looks fire right here. I ain't gonna trust the taste of a man who wears Chinese windows. <laughs> <not cosplay. laughs> Failure, thanks so much for tip. Your hyperfuse set needs to be replaced by Handerbite for your test set. Yeah, I think it's about time. All right. Let's see if these indicator lights work. Ooh, it does work. Oh crap, what I do? The indicator lights do work. I don't know. Is 
Was scroll lock even programmed? No, scroll lock's not even programmed in here. Okay, let's turn these off for now. Oh, caps lock is first. Interesting. It's caps lock, num lock, and then scroll lock. It's normally num lock, caps lock, scroll lock, I think. But okay. Fn plus print. What is print screen? Print screen is not programmed here by default. Unless you're saying. Oh! Wait, it works. Da -da -da. All indicator lights are on now. Okay, let's see how much this weighs completely built now. Scroll lock, infinitely pointless. Uh, I do know some people who use scroll lock. All right, completely weight built this weighs 2,851 grams. Ooh, six pounds, 4.6 ounces. All right, I use scroll lock to deafen on Discord. Oh, that's smart. I should do that too. All right, for the YouTube screenshot. Fill up the whole screen with hander bite. Three, two, one, boom. Zero view video, come on. Put the indicator light on, oh, you right. Three, two, one, boom. All right, can we get the words per minute bot started mods? Okay, the bot is live, everyone. Go place your votes on how fast you think I'll type with this. Let me turn off the music. Loki, that looks good with Metropolis desk mat. Dude, this is big brain. Whoever is hating on this, they don't understand. All right, no longer taking guesses in five, four, three, two, one. All right, did I pause the music? I believe so, okay. Oh, I don't need this clip anymore because I found the O-ring, nice. Okay, close. Big smooth. <laughs> All right, before we do the typing test, let me tell test. Let me tell you guys about today's sponsor. Oh wait, there's no overlay. Today's sponsor, NordVPN. Today is the eight year anniversary of NordVPN. So they are having a up to 70% off on their three year plan. Um, it's cheaper for their short-term plans, but there are sales available for all of their sales uh, subscriptions currently, but their three-year plan is 70% off. You also get an extra month if you use my affiliate link down below, Ooh, right here, nordvpn.org slash types. All right, so if you click it or go to the website, this is what we see. As you can see, 
as seen on Twitch, buy three year deal, get free plan as a month. There's only two hours and 40 minutes left to claim this deal. So hurry up because it's not going to be here forever. This is a one time deal. <laughs> All right. So in case you guys aren't aware why you should use a VPN, there's a couple reasons why you should use a VPN. Um, the first reason being VPNs generally provide some level of security. VPNs aren't always, um, it's not always entirely the most secure, but at least having that extra layer does help whatever security protocol these VPNs might be using. But you can also use it to access regional based and locked um, things. Um, for example, Netflix. Uh, Netflix, depending on the region you use, is cheaper. So if you don't want to pay the Netflix prices for the US, you can use Netflix in a different region. Um, games are also sometimes cheaper in different regions. You can also find access to games in certain areas as they are released first in other regions. So that's one of the reasons you can use, one of the reasons you should use a VPN. What are you guys saying? Where? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. My chat's not that smart. All right, but another reason to use a VPN is um, you just want to hide your tracks sometimes, right? Um, for us keyboard enthusiasts, we purchase a lot of things from China, Korea, Japan, and maybe you don't want people to know you are searching and shopping around those kinds of websites. Using a VPN is sometimes the way to go. Um, yeah, not that vendors like KBD fans and other vendors aren't respectable, but if you want to do other things, I'm not encouraging illegal activities, but you can use a VPN to gain access to such things. Um, you will still need to use a proxy, of course, just because you use a VPN um, doesn't mean they're gonna ship directly to you. Um, you'll st they'll, st they'll still eventually see your address is not regional, but um, it at least gets you access to that place. So if you guys are interested in purchasing a VPN, consider using NordVPN dot org nordvpn.org slash types yeah use a vpn to avoid ads on nathan's streams gg <laughs> yeah um, nordvpn was also selected as the best vpn in 2019 so there's that for you all right is it time for the typing test now That's not it. This is it. Okay. Here we go. See, it's not so bad. Very short. End of the stream. All right. Three. Ah, we do do do
135. Couldn't break my 140 average. Oh, we got a ton of winners. <laughs> All right, these are what the mods sound like. One hour of lo-fi. Thank you so much for the tip. Space Incorporated, thank you so much for the two months. Why? <laughs> really? Wait, it's, I think it's Scratchy backspace? Yeah, so the thing with silent switches, the stabilizers tend to sound pretty not good. Like the space bar, it's not the best, but during normal typing, it's not too bad. What are your monitors? Uh, I have a command, I think, exclamation monitors. Bore sound is really nice. Sounds mushy. How does it feel though? I've said this many times. I personally really like MX Silence. Um, a lot of people think they are too mushy though. I personally really like it. Crawlbit likes them too, that means they are no good. <laughs> Toxic. Yeah. And this was burger mounted, so it might sound different without the O-rings. This is nice. Why these MX Silence sound like a scratchy garbage? I mean, that's any silent switch on the mic. <laughs> Are you related to Rachel Ingyong Cho by any chance? No idea who that is. All right, one more, one more. <sighs> Gotta break 140. I really did it. Worse. 
128. All right. That's his board, though. <laughs> okay. Bring back the music. Helicopter way louder? Yeah. <laughs> and if I really be making his time worse? No, it's not tandem, right? All right, that is it for today's build stream. Is Maz still here? It's time for some C. Oh, right, I need to check out the KBD 75 Bea, Bella. Oh. What? Wait. So it looks like they took... What is this? Is that a coax port? What is this? Huh? Oh, it's just an accent piece? Oh, okay. This is just an accent piece. Okay. I see, I see. I mean, the bottom just looks like a Polaris with this new side cut going on. It's a cat, huh? Hmm. It's a switch opener? What? Oh, that opens the switch? Oh, interesting. I don't know if I necessarily want that on a board, though. <laughs> I mean... I guess it's new having a functional tool like, a tool like that hidden on your board, but... One, I don't think that little... Like, this is too small to hold in your hand to use, I think. I don't think this is going to be ergonomic to use. I'd still much rather use my key boss opener. Um... The accent seems kind of out of place to me. Like here, I don't like the way this blocker looks with this little cat sticking out now. I, I don't think, like now there's just this awkward square gap here that's kind of WTF. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this trying to be functional, but aesthetic at the same time. But the, I mean the design, the bottom looks nice. What logo even is this? The feet cutout are interesting. I don't think I've seen feet cut out like this on a keyboard yet. At least on a custom keyboard. Yeah. The bottom design looks cool though, but the top is a no-no for me. Yeah. On the opposite corner will look better. What opposite corner? Oh, like if they remove this extra switch and put that there. Uh, it would still be awkward because you would like you would still have this giant gap, unless the cat filled up the whole corner. Now you would have two awkward gaps around the nav cluster keys here. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought Efro was aligned for a second. It's not aligned. Nice. Yeah, but I mean, it's also KBD fans. It should hopefully be at a good price point. Rosa Cha, hello. Oh, chat, if you guys are following Streamer Camp 3, Rosa Cha made it to top 64. I don't know. I don't know if my streamers watch Streamer Camp or follow that crowd, <laughs> but congrats. And Maddie, hello. The top 64 Rosa Cha, no way, big fan, Pog, yeah, oh, big guy Marky's here too, hello. Top 64 for what? Uh, streamer camp, season three. I should have applied. I didn't apply this time. All right, 